What up guys, Cole here. And if you've ever gotten to the end of one of your sales calls where you have the prospect pretty interested, they're almost across the line, but they're kind of going back and forth and they're waffling a little bit, what we are going to cover in this video is how to take them from that place to literally giving them your credit card and enrolling in one of your programs. So we're gonna cover the four steps that you are ever going to need to close any sale. And not only have I used these across thousands upon thousands of sales calls to generate millions of dollars, at the same time I've taught this to all of my sales teams that do millions upon millions each month, and all of our 200 plus clients that we train that we're involved with on the sales team side as well. So this is battle tested, this works, and I mean this is one of the things that's really cool because like you can use this word for word and it will crush it for you. So let's get into it. You should see on my screen over here, four steps to closing any sale. This document, we're gonna go over some scripting and uh, literally I'm gonna give you exactly what to say. And this stuff works so, so well. I've said this thousands of times, guys. So if you want this scripting so you can pull it up on the computer, read right off of it, just stay to the end of this video and I will show you how to get it at the end, okay? So what we're gonna cover in this quick training is an overview of where we're at in the sales process, an important reminder uh, with how you pitch because you gotta pitch a certain way to be able to have these four steps work. Okay, if your pitch is like terrible and it's awful, it doesn't matter how well you do these four steps, it's just not gonna work, okay? And then we're gonna get into the four steps, the exact scripting, all of that stuff. So just as an important reminder in terms of where we're at in the sales process, at first you start the call, you have the introduction, that's where you do rapport, you frame the call. Then you have information gathering where you're asking all of the questions, you're getting a lot of data, you're understanding if and how you can help the person and eliminating objections before the close. Then we go into transition which is the bridge between the question asking, the information gathering phase, and the pitch. We wanna move from information gathering to the pitch in a very low sales resistance, natural sort of way to where basically they're asking you to pitch them. And then we go into the pitch, and then the committing phase, right? The pitch is where you just explain what you do in a very compelling, unique way. And then the committing phase is where you get them tied down that the pitch, money aside, the pitch, the process of what you explained is what they need to achieve the outcome they told you that they wanted. Let me repeat that. The committing phase is where you get them tied down, bought in on the idea that the process, the pitch you explained to them is what they need to get the outcome that they told you that they wanted, okay? And we haven't talked investment at this point yet, right? So it's a, a money and investment inside. So really, everything we're gonna be going over in this video is this section I just highlighted on my screen right here. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be super exciting, and uh, I mean, I'm telling you guys, you can say this stuff like word for word, so it, uh, it works. Now, some important reminders for how you pitch. So just a few things on this section right here I wanna cover, uh, just because if you don't do this right, what I'm about to teach you after that, the four steps, ain't gonna work, okay? So, some important reminders. Big keys for pitching, number one, always focus on the end result, the big high level promise, what this is all about, okay? Number two, we wanna break what we're doing, our process of how we work with clients. We wanna explain that in three to five very simple, clear steps that help the prospect see how we're gonna take them from current situation to desired situation. So in a different video, I talked about how our big end result was maybe you're working with an e-commerce brand and you wanna give them the marketing, uh, operations, fulfillment, um, finance, and sales systems that they need to not only get to multiple eight figures with their brand, but also position themselves for a very lucrative exit, okay? That's the big end result. But then you wanna break that end result into certain milestones they're gonna need to achieve to be able to get there, three to five ones. And when they hear these milestones, they should get two big feelings, clarity and certainty. And this is one of the things early on in sales one of my mentors taught me has made me tons of money and it's very, very important. They should get two feelings, clarity and certainty, okay? The clarity comes from that they can see how the steps, the three to five steps you gave them can get them from point A, current situation, to point B, desired situation, okay? The certainty should come from the fact that they can see how your solution is the simultaneous explanation of why everything they tried in the past has failed and why this is going to be different, okay? That is huge. Your pitch, like how you explain what you do, it should simultaneously help the prospect understand, oh, here's why everything I was doing or trying in the past didn't work, and this is going to be how this is different, okay? We'll probably do another video on just this, because this is huge. You can eliminate so many objections from your prospect by really nailing this during your pitch, okay? But if you don't do this right, 
Okay, if you don't do this right, the four steps aren't gonna work. So if you wanna go deeper on this stuff, obviously we have programs, I'm sure there's stuff in the description, whatever, but let's move on for now into the four steps of closing any sale. So again, to recap, we just pitched them, right? Uh, we just, and I shouldn't say pitch, it kind of sounds like a hypey, like, you know, you pitch them. Like it's not like a, it shouldn't be a salesy thing at all. It's just really a dialogue where you're explaining what you do. So we just finished that section. Then we wanna say, Gotcha, man. Well, um, how do you feel? Like we just covered those four things to be able to exit your e-commerce business. Like how do you feel about those four things, like the process specifically? Okay. Now what we're looking for is we want to see if they're bought in to the process. Okay. We want to see if they're bought in to the process. So if they give a very certain direct answer, like dude, Cole, that is exactly what I need. Like, or they, they go on and on about like how it's exactly what they need. They, um, you know, they were missing this before and they're doing it with this fast, direct tonality, we can just move on to the next step, okay? But for the purpose of this training, we are going to assume they don't do that. So they might just explicitly say, like, you know, I'm not really sure. But what's more likely gonna happen, guys, is you're gonna say, how do you feel about the process specifically? Do you feel like it's what you need to get to wherever you wanna go? Or not, you're not gonna say wherever you wanna go, you're gonna say, do you feel like it's what you need to be able to get to that point where you can have that eight-figure exit that you really want? Um, you're gonna ask that question, and they're gonna say something like, you know, I, uh, I think so, right? So if they respond with something like that, that is essentially a no, okay? Um, yeah, I, you know, I think so. Anything where they're elongating out their speech like that, um, and they're not giving that downward, quick inflecting, like certainty-based language, dude, absolutely, right? That's a yes. Um, obviously a no is a no, but the, what mainly is gonna be the thing you hear is a no is, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, 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 Cole, I, I think so, <laughs> you know? I can't even like do it seriously. But when they give you stuff like that, or any sort of ambiguous type of response, that is a no. And then we're gonna go and move on to this part I've highlighted here. So we're gonna say, you know, I hear you, and to be totally clear, what's really important to us, one of our core values, is alignment. Okay? When you come in and you work with us, we are rolling up the sleeves. We are getting in the trenches with you. And I mean, I'm telling you, our team is all in. So uh, it's really important to us that you feel good about the process because we're really investing in you. You know what I mean? So uh, just to be 100% clear so we can stay organized on our end, on like a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being like, <laughs> it's like, hate this guy, I want to get off the phone, and 10 being like, yes, that is exactly what I need, where do you feel like you fall exactly? Okay? Now, if we get a nine or a 10 plus that certainty-based language, then we can move on. If we get an eight or below, we wanna say, gotcha, man, and I appreciate you being honest about that. Um, I'm curious, but you know, what do you exactly think is keeping you from being, say, a eight, nine, or a 10? And then, when we say, what exactly do you think is keeping you from being an eight, nine, or a 10? We are gonna get the real objection. And the best part about this is, money is not even on the table yet. So this is really money aside, we're getting the real objection. And again, the money objection, um, it's you can't handle the money objection with first not handling the uncertainty objection. Money is very easy to handle if they 100% believe this is what they need to get what they told you they wanted, right? So what we're really trying to do here first is root out the uncertainty-based objection before we get to any money, spouse, any of that stuff. Because that's the main, that's a hard one to overcome, especially it's very hard to overcome once price is on the table. You know, so let's keep going. Um, and then obviously we're gonna handle the, we're gonna isolate that, handle the objection. And then afterwards, um, we're gonna re, uh, we're gonna re-tie down. So we're gonna ask some clarifying questions, re-temperature re, re re check and make sure they're still bought in. So then we move on to the transition language. So um, once we know they're bought in, they're like, no dude, I'm, I'm freaking 10 out of 10. Cool. Um, Gotcha. So any questions or like what questions do you have on the process specifically? Right. So then we want to open it up for questions on the process. And a lot of times, like based on if you, if you explain it the way I explain it, they're never going to have questions. So they say, oh, no questions. And then you say, gotcha. So um, you feel really good about the process. You feel like it's what you need. No questions. What's next? Where do you want to go from here? Okay. That phrase is huge, guys. What's next? Where do you want to go from here? But what I'm doing, what's preceding the what's next, where you want to go from here, is I'm recapping that they feel really good, they feel like it's what they need to get to where they want to go. You have no questions, what's next? Where do you want to go from here? 
very, very smooth close, they're gonna ask you to give them the investment in most, in most cases. Um, now, regardless if they say, well, what's the investment? If they say, well, you tell me what's next, whatever. Here's what you say. You always give the onboarding and the next steps before you give the investment. So you're gonna say, gotcha, so you'll process the investment with me. Once we take care of that, what we're gonna do is set baseline. So we're gonna give you some homework right away. That's gonna let our team know exactly where you're at, where to get your assets, all the links, everything we need to basically come up with an implementation game plan that we can prepare for you prior to our first one-on-one -on -one call. And then on that one-on-one -on -one call, we'll lay that strategy out for you. We'll book other one-on-one -on -one calls and also get you oriented into the entire program. Does that make sense? Cool. And then the investment is just 10K, right? Or you could say the investment to be able to get you to 240 grand a year so that you can, whatever that they want, is just 10K. I think either is fine. I think a lot of times when you do that chunking up stuff, it kind of sounds like a little fabricated. So I just say, and the investment's just 10K or the investment's just 25K, whatever it is. And then you shut up, right? You're silent. Now, um, usually they're gonna fill the silence of this. Um, I will say, if you get into like a Mexican standoff situation to where you're silent and then they're silent, typically the reason you're, that's happening is because you like rushed through the pitch and then rushed through all this part, like anvil dropping on them. And then you're like, you, you, oh, it's just 10, 10K. And then it's like, where did that guy go? He just shuts up. Right, and so they're like, okay, is this guy done? Like, you know, you can't be Speedy Gonzalez and then just like, whoosh, shut up. Um, so the pitch and this part should feel very much like a very casual back and forth dialogue. Okay, that's very nuanced. And if you do it correctly, they'll always normally fill the silence here. Um, for whatever reason, if they don't, after about seven to 10 seconds, I say, how do you feel? That's all I say. And then now I pass it back to them, they have to respond, okay? And if they say, oh no, I feel really good. I say, cool, you sure? So yeah. So you ready to get started on some homework? Yep. What's your billing address? That's my close. Are you sure? Yep. You ready to get started on some homework? Yep. What's your billing address? So I yes ladder right up to what's your billing address, which I take the billing information and eventually the credit card and then they're in. So guys, if you want this document, just comment four steps below and my assistant is gonna reach out and send you this document and you can literally take it, pull it up on your uh, screen, look at it during your calls, you can print it off, study it, script it, whatever you wanna do, just comment four steps below and we will get you this document ASAP. Also, if you subscribe to this channel, I will give you our free seven figure selling secrets sales course, which is 30 plus hours of content of training your setters, training your closers, building out sales teams, everything on the sales process end to end. I've had literally entire sales teams of 30 plus people put their whole sales team into this training because they think it's that valuable. Um, I get tons of great feedback on it. So we will give you Kajabi logins as long as you subscribe to the channel. Essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a retargeting ad and uh, that ad will lead you a landing page. You opt into a landing page, you get your logins, go right to your email and then you're in. So um, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video.